everybody uh, welcome back to the rockweb classic training video screencast whatever you want to name it today we are in the part 12 and it's a while ago i think two two and a half weeks when we uh, introduced the dynamic boundary conditions so the coded fixed value uh, in that the, during that time i was uh, doing a few tests um, uh, with the case and today we are yeah making a more realistic boundary However, you will see an interesting fact that our mesh is somehow crappified and um, therefore uh, we will just uh, start. Okay, so as already said, we, we create something like um, here on top, um, some more realistic boundary condition. Um, because the last time I was just showing you how Yes, how to use the dynamic uh, boundary condition, so the coded a fixed value. Maybe I will uh, split something and I will talk about the coded fixed and coded mixed value uh, boundary condition in a separate video. So we are going to the coded fixed value training case and um, yeah, I just uh, remove here everything. Um, so. We have everything and as you are up to date we are jumping into the u file so i explained you how to set up for example some um yeah some dynamic boundary condition how to use it actually and yeah um, also uh, a few hints about doxygen and how to um get a bit uh, how things are working okay so if you're not already comfortable with the speed i'm evolving with this coded fixed value it doesn't matter because this is something else so we are just focusing now on a more realistic boundary condition um and therefore yeah we will um we will just uh, remove all this crap um course the operator we will need um, uh, we will just comment that guy out so what we are doing is we introduce a few yeah scalars first so we make um, for example a length uh, volume um, in cubic meter so um, in cubic meter which is um, so it's not the length volume we if we are breathing in <laughs> completely it's just like um i read it somehow it's uh between i would say two and uh, two and a half is um like a normal breathing is like one and a half two and a half liters so please correct me if i'm wrong so if we are really breathing in we have um three and a half um something around that so um we are saying that we have if we are making Breathe the breath um, we take in, I don't know, we can make one liter. Uh, so the 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 length volume of the length is um, in cubic meter then 0 0.001. Uh, doesn't matter so these are just arbitrary values which are um, more realistic than what we had before so then uh yeah we or right, let's just 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 keep it at, at two liters it doesn't matter it's just just a test case so um duration duration of breathing is in seconds of course um we can say con scalar um, time for breathing is 1.5 seconds. So um, if you are a smoker, probably you, you know better than me. I'm not a smoker, uh, no weed, uh, nothing. Uh, no, 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 nothing, <laughs> nothing. So um, start of the first breathing. And seconds, uh, con scalar breathing start is 0 0.1. So when our simulation starts from time zero, um, it will take 0 0.1 seconds until we are activating the breathe. 
So, and then we can say, okay, I'll repeat um, breathing each X seconds. So we can make a new scalar, which is, um, I don't know, we can call it um, next breathe, which is five seconds. Um, we will get, of course, access. We need to have the actual runtime. Which is also in seconds, so this is the simulation simulation time. So the real simulation time. Um, we already know how to get access to that, so we make this T, and we have to use the, this pointer. We call the database, and then we say, okay, we need the time and we need the value. So it's actually the same as we did the last time. Then we need access, of course, to the FV patch because we need the, the surface normal gradients. So we make um, FV patch. Here we, we make this upper sand um, because um, it is, if you are not a programmer, it is faster. Um, as we will just, you have like an object, a big large container which stores data. So what you can do is actually you can copy this guy into another memory stuff. Um, you would do it if you are doing like this. Um, or you keep this um, big data on the memory, in the same memory place. And then you just make like an address. And this address points to this memory stuff, which is actually, um, you can do it with a reference. So it's like this small address reference to this large object. Um, yeah, it's some C++ or you, you can also use pointers. Um, but it doesn't, doesn't matter um, um, here, right? So actually this is the same we, we were talking about the last, the last time. Um, I'm just like um, give you, giving now all these uh, small keywords and of course we need then access to the surface normals and this is um, a vector field. Again, you can, you don't have to use this upper percent, but then it's faster. Um, we, we had the the name n and we say nvp so this 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 object we can call now functions from this which is nf so and then that's everything for now so however we now need to transform these um, two liters we are taking in within the duration of what we 1. seconds. we have to calculate a velocity out of that right and apply this velocity um, to yeah everything all all these um, yeah how would you say to all these phases so what we are actually what we are doing is we have cubic meter um, we are breathing these two uh, 0 0.002 cubic meter within 1.5 seconds so we have a volumetric flux with the area um, we of the outlet or the intake um, area whatever you want to name it we can then calculate uh, mass fluxes volumetric fluxes and um, respectively also velocities right so um that's so what we are calculating first is um now um The volumetric flux, which is yeah, the volumetric flux mm, during a breath. All right, and we assume that um, we have it's a constant flux. Hence, we can make a new scalar. Um, um, we breathe for volumetric 
brief you can also dot v brief doesn't matter how you name it which is um, vl so the lungs volume divided by tb right so nothing special so what we 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 uh, make a new field which is the mean velocity at each at each phase of the patch or outlet um this is of course a scalar field we just name it u and it the scalar field has the numbers of um, faces and we say at the beginning everything is zero so um let me just re recall um yes so it is a scalar field the velocity actually would be a vector field but we are using um, the magnitude of the velocity here so that's why we have a scalar field um just for you to because we are using afterwards the, the surface normal gradients so and then you can make a dynamic uh, boundary condition which is time dependent so um you can say if the time is larger than the breathing start so if we are reaching the zero point one seconds so start breathing uh, first time so this is uh, and say i just want to give you some some ideas so we can say t minus breathing start is smaller than tb um of course here um you have to re remove this breathing start the 0 0.1 seconds from the t in order to um, get this uh, 0 0.5 uh, 1.5 seconds uh, the whole range otherwise it would just uh, be uh, 1.4 but this is now nothing nothing related to um, you know uh, realistic things it's just uh, programming if else you also could you know um, um, if, if you know you have like a breathing and you can um, make a function out of it some some sign or some whatever function you would like to have um, you can direct implement your function here which is way more interesting um, than putting you know um, if else if else if else um, um, however you can also make more more fancy boundary conditions in the programming language uh, c++ uh, which is not uh, related to cfd at all what we are doing here so um yeah so what what we are saying here um would would that make uh, sense so let me just um, think about that yes so i have a mistake um, in my test case because um i said that um you know uh, this uh, mean velocity is now u um, dot v breath dot v breath which is actually not correct because we have a cubic meter per um, per seconds and not meter per second so what we what we have to add here we have to add the area um, you have to make here the, the outlet area. Um, it's a scalar A, which has, um, um, I don't know, we can just check it out. Um, while, so what we could do, we could have access to the, the, the face, to all the face um, areas. Let, let's let's do it like this so we need the outlet area of of the patch um we would probably um, need doxygen for that um sorry so we go to the source code we go to fv patch um 
actually you know why we are going to FV patch because FV patch will give us um whatever we want to take out of the the boundary so we can take this scalar field mac sf return face area magnitudes which is actually what we want to have so mac sf so we have to firstly say okay we um each single area of each face we can also say uh, single area of each face so it's a scalar field um area of the face so you can also make a constant because we want don't want to change it which is the fv patch mac sf and now we have all these uh, faces um now of course you have to to create um so we make uh, the outlet area a which is let's say zero and then we say for all a f i or face um a plus equal um a f so what we are doing here is actually we are making the sum of all faces to get the total amount um here it is actually better not to use something like this just want to give you the, the hint because open foam um uh, you can use like um for par so if you're making splitting like um this case and par for parallel processing and the the um yeah it is is it is more reliable to say gsum which is uh, a summation function um, regarding uh, parallel stuff so i just comment this out gsum of af which is actually summing up the the, the guy here in the special configuration we can also make the a again constant and then we have here the velocity now now it now it's correct okay so and um we are um moving on um then we have here a breathing break else And then we can say t minus a breathing start is larger than next breathe uh, plus tb. So this is something um, you can think about why why I did it like this. So we again um, take the time minus this small part, and if this then gets larger than the breathing time plus the next breathe then we are in the next brief so we can also make here u is dot v brief um, divided by a and now you can um, um, go on and go on like else um no not else but um you need some more more reliable logic now here if you want to make five or six breathe okay if, if it's in that amount you still can make it by hand but if you have 100 then it would be really terrible and terrific to to make it in, in this way right so we we just keep it as it is um so then you can for example do other things here right whatever you want to do however if if this does not hold so if if we are we are not going into that and we are not going into that the the velocity u is still zero okay and of course at the end we say take the velocities we have the velocity magnitude and apply it to all phases but take into account the surface uh, normals in order that the vectors are normals to each 
each of these faces. So if, if you are doing so, so honestly spoken, the video I'm showing you did not had this uh, dividing by A, but this is now uh, more correct here. Um, if you are doing something like this and you can, we will just sh check if it is working. So pimple foam, maybe the GSAM, what I was talking about is, is wrong or something else is wrong. So um, it, 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 it compiles, so the code actually we were um, writing is correct. And if you are uh, running this case, um, it takes a while. Um, it takes a while as, as we are not having, um, as we are running in PISO, it's the first, we have um, the velocities are high. Um, and we have a numerical problem in the mesh. Um, and I, I just want to I want just want to show it to you. We 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 cut. We make a clip here through that. Um, I will just give you the um, idea how this simulation could look like now. So we have here the velocities, which are almost zero. We change this guy to, I don't know, two meters per second. I don't change the scale. Um, let's, let's change the colors. I don't know. What can we take? Um, 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 um. Let's take something like this. So black, black is the color I love most. So everything, no velocity. We have here, at the top, you see the time is 0 0.1, still no velocity, and then still no velocity. What what's wrong here? Um, now it is now it's starting. Okay, the velocity is much 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 smaller than I had in mind. So we have only four centimeters per second. But um, again, um, I run this guy um, with without this the A division, so the area. So you can directly see. So in time zero point zero five seconds, nothing happens. Zero point one, nothing happens. This is related to the if else condition because we said um, start breathing after zero point one seconds. After that, we get like um, the influence. And you also see here some crappiness. Um, this will actually kill our simulation because, so it, it, it is running, but it will reduce our time step um, drastically um, because I have actually no idea. So this is, um, I, I even don't like, Honestly, I even don't like the geometry I choose here for, for you guys because, um, I don't know, um, yeah. In any case, on the other hand, it's interesting and it's good to, to have like uh, things that are not, not working properly right at the beginning. So th that's also the reason why here you see seven meters per second while the whole domain has, has a few centimeters per second. Um, so that was uh, the, the reason why we, we didn't see anything here. So then we, we breathe. So until should be 1.6 seconds. And then at 1.6 seconds, it stops. So the velocity field, um, so we have here zero velocity at the outlet. You see it in the color. And then um, your velocity is, uh, is really like, um, yeah, getting back to zero. And we have here some incompressible solver. That means you, you don't have like, otherwise you would have like some, some waves going through if you calculate it in compressible. If you suddenly say, sorry, there is nothing going out anymore. 
honestly um, we have so the boundary condition we should have, we should apply here is that the velocity here at the outlet and at the inlet has to follow the pressure and then we should um, make a, a pressure a time dependent pressure boundary condition that we say okay we have here uh, let's say a reference pressure of zero and here we have a uh, negative pressure when we are sucking and then when we are not sucking then it is also the reference pressure of zero and then you would have like the flow would would go will still go out here but it will gently slow down as there is no driving force anymore however what we are saying is we are we are uh, breathing and then when you stop breathing you, you you put your tongue in front of the outlet and you just say there is nothing which is can come out and on and additionally as we are using an compressible solver uh, an incompressible solver sorry um the the dynamics are not not correct here so if we would um, suck in water and uh, this would be fine but as we have air um, the analysis would not be 100 percent correct and then you see the the velocity is, is is reducing however we will still have here some yeah i would say crappy crappy faces or crappy cells and with a high velocity still and they are slowly slowly going down and as you can see still um, that they are happy making party here somehow um, i was also checking this area um which was uh, i don't know it was so you can see here probably this this cell is 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 really the the guy who makes trouble and yeah you, you see it's like reducing and then it uh, gains again and then we have five seconds somehow of breathing stop and somewhere we should start breathing again i'm not sure when it will happen now it, it now now you have uh, the next the next guy so probably 1.5 seconds plus these five seconds of stop would be 6.5 um so it starts at 6.6 .6, as we have the 0 .0 0 0.0.1 of delay and um, so everything is fine here and this is how a uh, dynamic boundary condition uh, works i will also show you the pressure field how is the pressure in this case we directly go to this one you also can see that we have here some some problems in the pressure um, some cell we get here a very large uh, negative well not yeah it's well, we are not talking about a real pressure here but um, as we are just talking about an, uh, pressure gradients but the, the pressure value we, we calculate here is, is very very um, small and it does actually not fit into into this guy right so if we would expect here um, to have a fixed value of the pressure um then yeah it would be um, the highest pressure here and then gently going to the the lowest pressure here and here we have something which is really a uh, mesh problem even though snappy or, or check mesh is telling that everything is more or less fine so you see that the pressure is also a bit ooh, ooh, ooh. 
um, tricky. Um, yeah, interesting thing. And these these pressure waves, which is um, going like this way, it is related to um, to the incompressible guy, and it is actually uh, introduced by these guys so this was everything i wanted to show you in uh, the more realistic boundary conditions we can apply here uh, i want to keep this boundary condition um, it can happen that the velocity field is different as i was not dividing by the area so depending on the, on the area you could have higher velocities and sometimes probably it will blow up because the velocities are too high here and uh, this cell will cause trouble in addition maybe you don't have any trouble here because you did uh, your mesh somehow in a different way but what we can do is we can just check out okay who is the fucker who is killing my simulation or is like disturbing my simulation i'm let's just see which so i'm just going to this test case i made um let's see which which schemes i was using so i used like um, more upwind and i tried also to limit the gradients um in order to get reliable and reasonable gradient calculation here i also had the surface normals and laplacian in a corrected one which is fine for me however um, maybe you could uh, use here some limited scheme um, which will support would be i think um if you are not um, using some limited scheme here your guy will will rapify and blow up but let's just see what what cell we have here so in order to do that um can take this guy uh, selecting through the cells then we select these cells and then we go to here's extract selection apply and then we have we have the guy here so where are you So it's actually really this this cell. It seems to be that this cell does make some trouble. We can do the same again. And so we have here something which is really yeah, interesting, interesting cells. What we do in addition, we don't decompose the polyhedrals because if it's a polyhedral uh, cell we want to have the whole shape of the cell and then we again do the same we select this guy and we extract selection and it seems that this guy for any reason so still two cells two cells here you can also go here into spreadsheet view and then to cell data and then you see here this is a polyhedron and this is also a polyhedron um and for any reason the upper part here so this cell makes some something something is not very good with this cell so out of the box i cannot tell you why why this uh, cell makes trouble um it seems here that we have here uh, additionally something but the, the the edges are i don't know so honestly this this cell makes some very interesting um influences our simulation 
out of the box um i just would 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 change the mesh here because this is uh this is this is really you, you directly see it here it cannot be it's not possible that we will have something here even though um personally spoken this cell does not look too too crazy um i i already had a lot of crazier cells yeah, the last thing we can do is um we can um, make a check mesh uh, just to see okay actually here everything would be fine you can you can also extend this guy all geometry all topology all topology um yeah i'm, I'm writing something something wrong ah of course sorry just with one guy so this is like um, now um, a more more fancy analysis um 36 minutes so we have here what we have there are 99 phases when concave angle between consecutive edges we have so and then you could could write um we have a set and we could use this set to with vtk foam to vtk to, to check out where it is there are two phases with ratio between projected and uh, actual area which is smaller than 0 0.8 um wrapped faces concave cells which is not a big deal um face with small interpolation white should also be um not a big deal so yeah honestly uh, the only possible way i i think uh, here is to change either the numerical schemes um uh, or the mesh um maybe you can also use like a pimple algorithm with under relaxation in order to to stabilize this guy uh control dict um, we had 0.5 um the current number which is not not too too large so uh, everything should be fine so um, as you can see even even while i'm doing this this stuff uh I'm not prepared always so I, I figure out that we have some problems in the mesh uh, why ever um, I don't know um, I'm I'm sorry that uh, I decided to use some stupid uh, geometry such as as I do have here because uh, who who the fuck is searching for open phone tutorials and videos with a smoking pipe um okay and nevertheless we we started we are already in episode 12 it is finished now um i think um this stuff with uh yeah um dynamic boundary conditions is, is is done here what we can do is now um adding like a source term adding a uh, i would in the next video i would show you how how to add a passive scalar transport um and how to to add like a source term of these uh, passive scalar somewhere um, in, in in the domain so that if you are breathing um you can see how these scalars transported through um and then if we are finished with this uh i'm not sure if we should go on with this project or if we just say okay toby it's enough now 40 minutes uh, we just uh, waste our time um please take a, a new model whatever um silencer rifle or pff, i don't know but please don't use that crap anymore so in that terms guys take care um and yeah hope it was still interesting even if we had problems and again if you are still at the end um as i mentioned already if you are doing this simulation it can happen that and it will happen that you get different results because i forgot to include the division by the area so the velocities will be um different however if you want to get the same results and then i have 
just um, skip this division by a um, and maybe if you're really um, investigating into this uh, uh, case leave a comment if you don't have this crappiness of, of these cells and if you are just um, trying around with different schemes you can also leave a comment for the community um, how, how to fix this um, maybe you made an, another mesh so um, out of the box and honestly I would just change my background mesh um, slightly making it a bit bigger or, or smaller or whatever um, and then I'm rechecking that again or checking the, the surface the triangulation of the surface but this should be fine so okay guys again bye bye take care have fun and we will see you soon uh, by the way i'm building my own pitot tube or prandel pipe here you can see um which i will measure um the, the total pressure here we i have a, a pressure sensor inside and then um yeah here uh, the next chamber is uh, added then for the static pressure in order to yeah do something with my raspberry pi and um, you know a lot of things to do stay tuned regarding the foam analyzer ciao